Hello, my name is Jitu Abraham, and in this video, I'd like to give you a walkthrough of the front panel design of the RTO oscilloscope. So as you can see, I've got the RTO here, and uh, on the left-hand side, you see all the main housekeeping keys, if you may, and two of the main important keys there would be the preset key, so you can go back into a factory default state, and the magic auto set button if you wish to use that. And then there's all the save and recall and the setup keys there. And down at the bottom here, you see the probe compensations, USB, and all the areas where you can connect the probes. On this side, everything is arranged in blocks, if you may. So you have the horizontal block there, where you can adjust the timing of the waveforms that you have set up. And by the way, all of these, are uh, the wheels are clickable, so you can actually change uh, from vernier scale to coarse, if you like, and so on. So you can very, very quickly change that. And also the position, if you wanted. So if you move the waveform or the time scale around, you can press that in so it goes back to the 50% line. On the other side, you have the trigger uh, settings, such as level and source and so on, all the analysis keys. Uh, all the navigation dials down at the bottom and on the side there you have all the vertical settings for the instrument as well. And the only change uh, when you compare this to, to most other scopes is probably uh, the vertical settings. So we have one set of dials for each of the uh, for four channels and the only change is in the color rings. So the color of the actual trace maps the color rings. So as you bring up a second channel, it goes and follows the, the, the channel that you have in focus and you have a third channel that goes brown if you like and so on. And all of these follow which uh, channel is in focus. So the color indicates which channel is in focus that you can actually tweak and change, and all the rest of it stays the same. And if there is any channel that you want to get rid of, you can select the particular channel and then press the switch off key just down there. Now the coloring also matches the trigger source button. So if you had the wrong source or the right source, again, hopefully that, that coloring actually indicates which one is in focus. Now also on the, on the front panel of the instrument as well, you have the nice big screen here. So you have the signal bar down at the side, which gives you all the important information about the scope and what the settings are. Down at the bottom, you have the full menu located as well. So you can bring that up and get any of the settings from that. Or you can use the toolbar on the top there that you can actually, again, configure using the settings wheel to define what kind of icons you want or don't want in your uh, configuration. So there you go, a, a quick run through of the front panel design and where exactly all that those key uh, dials and so on are so that you can get your signals up and running as quick as possible. 